Rooster is a song by the American rock band Alice in Chains, featured on their second studio album, Dirt, 1992, and released as the fourth single from the album on February 22, 1993. It is the fifth song on the original pressing of the album and sixth on others. The song was written by guitarist-slash-vocalist Jerry Cantrell for his father, Jerry Cantrell Sr., whose childhood nickname was Rooster and served with the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War. Cantrell would later name his music publishing company as Rooster's Son Publishing. Rooster spent 20 weeks on Billboard's mainstream rock tracks chart and peaked at No. The song was written by Alice in Chains guitarist-slash-vocalist Jerry Cantrell for his father, Jerry Cantrell Sr., who served with the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War. Rooster was a childhood nickname given to Cantrell Sr. by his great-grandfather, because of his perceived cocky attitude and his hair, which used to stick up on top of his head like a rooster's comb. The rooster nickname is often mistakenly attributed to a reference to men carrying the M60 machine gun, walking tall machine gun men, the muzzle flash from which makes an outline or pattern reminiscent of a rooster's tail. It is also often mistakenly attributed to the 101st Airborne Division, in which Cantrell's father served, who wore shoulder sleeve insignia on their arms featuring a bald eagle. As there are no bald eagles in Vietnam, the closest thing to which the Vietnamese could draw a comparison was the chicken, thus leading to the pejorative chicken men. Cantrell wrote the song while living at Chris Cornell and Susan Silver's house in Seattle at the start of 1991. Silver is Alice in Chains' manager and Cornell's then-wife. Alone, late at night, Cantrell kept thinking about his father and the psychological scars from his time in the Vietnam War that contributed to the breakdown of his family. Cantrell wrote the lyrics from the standpoint of his father. In the liner notes of 1999's Music Bank Box set collection, Jerry Cantrell said of the song, It was the start of the healing process between my dad and I from all that damage that Vietnam caused. This was all my perception of his experiences out there. The first time I ever heard him talk about it was when we made the video and he did a 45-minute interview with Mark Pellington and I was amazed he did it. He was totally cool, totally calm, accepted it all and had a good time doing it. It even brought him to the point of tears. It was beautiful. He said it was a weird experience, a sad experience and he hoped that nobody else had to go through it. In a 1992 interview with Guitar for the Practicing Musician magazine, in response to the question do you feel you communicated with, your father, with this song? Cantrell said, yeah. He's heard this song. He's only seen us play once, and I played this song for him when we were in this club opening for Iggy Pop. I'll never forget it. He was standing in the back and he heard all the words and stuff. Of course, I was never in Vietnam and he won't talk about it. But when I wrote this it felt right, like these were things he might have felt or thought. And I remember when we played it he was back by the soundboard and I could see him. He was back there with his big grey Stetson and his cowboy boots, he's a total Oklahoma man, and at the end, he took his hat off and just held it in the air. And he was crying the whole time. This song means a lot to me. A lot. Cantrell said of the song in a 2006 interview with Team Rock. That experience in Vietnam changed him, his father, forever, and it certainly had an effect on our family, so I guess it was a defining moment in my life, too. He didn't walk out on us. We left him. It was an environment that wasn't good for anyone, so we took off to live with my grandmother in Washington, and that's where I went to school. I didn't have a lot of my father around, but I started thinking about him a lot during that period. I certainly had resentments, as any young person does in a situation where a parent isn't around or a family is split. But on Rooster, I was trying to think about his side of it, what he might have gone through. To be honest, I didn't really sit down intending to do any of that, it just kinda came out. But that's the great thing about music, sometimes it can reach deeper than you ever would in a conversation with anybody. It's more of a forum to dig deeper. It felt like a major achievement for me as a young writer. When I first played it to my father, I asked him if I'd got close to where he might have been emotionally or mentally in that situation. And he told me, you got too close, you hit it on the head. It meant a lot to him that I wrote it. It brought us closer. It was good for me in the long run and it was good for him, too. 